We're expecting twin boys and during one of our routine screening appointments uh, we were told that one of the babies was showing at higher risk of being at Downs despite the earlier nuchal tests showing that both babies were at quite low risk. Uh, and we were offered an amniocentesis so that we could have further clarification of what we were potentially looking at, at dealing with. Um, but we weren't happy with the risks associated with the amnio. And particularly um, with expecting twins, it was double the risk for us in the, in the potential for miscarriage. So when we heard about the Harmony test, we were really relieved to find that there was a non-evasive um, pathway to get the same kind of information without any of the risks. With the same accuracy. Amniocentesis involves extracting amniotic fluid from around the babies, um, which is why the risks associated with it can be quite high. The Harmony blood test is uh, just a blood test from the mother. I understand that the, the Harmony blood test can analyse fragments of fetal DNA in the mother's blood. So the, you know, the process for that is obviously a, a blood test, whereas with the amnio it involves a, a large needle, um, which is you know, uh, something that we weren't comfortable with. We understand as well with the, the Harmony blood test, with the, the technology that they use with that, there are less false positives. So whilst it offers the same kind of statistical information, it's potentially a more accurate um, and safer test.